Hi, I'm Jane, and today we have a Core Plus Signature 55-minute hot mat Pilates class. All you need is a lighter set of weights and your mat. I'll be using two kilos myself. Once you have that, let's make our way down onto our backs. Feet are gonna come hips distance, and we're gonna find nice length in our arms, heavy by your side, resting your upper body. We're gonna begin by locating our neutral spine. So take a nice deep breath in through your nose, belly ribs expand, and on your exhale, you're gonna think about drawing your navel down towards the mat and finding a rib to hip connection. Hold that for a moment and release. Again, we inhale, fill up, exhale, draw that belly button down towards your mat, being mindful that this isn't a flat back. There's still a little gap between you and your mat. And release. One more time, we inhale, fill up, maybe even a little over arch. And then as you exhale, think about finding that rib to hip connection, draw that belly button down. And this is your neutral spine. Now we're gonna ground through these feet, make sure they're right under your knees, hip distance apart. And you're going to tuck, peel and lift your hips off your mat and come into a bridge pose. Now hold here, squeeze your glutes, and we're just gonna start with a little lift of the hips. We draw them up and return. Squeeze it up and down. Just a slow micro movement here. Warming up through those glutes, through that back body. Mindful that that rib cage isn't flaring. Arms stay heavy, pulsing up, and up, hold it here. We're going to roll down nice and slow for three, two, and one. Hover at the bottom, now squeeze it up. Two, three, four, again, down. Two, three, hover at the bottom. Now squeeze and tuck it up. Two, three, four. Last time we roll it down, hover at the base. Now articulate it up, hold here, squeeze. Right heel only lifts and lowers, up and down, up and down, stabilizing through those hips, making sure nothing's rocking and rolling. Just articulating through that right side only for another three, two, hold it at the top on one, pulse it out, we squeeze, squeeze for eight, seven, six, five. Keep those lips hifted for three, two, one. Right heel down, left heel up and lower. Up, lower. Making sure those hips aren't rocking and rolling. You have another five. Draw it up and down for four. Hold it at the top in two. Last one, hold and pulse, 10. Nine, squeeze those glutes for six, five, four, three, two, one. Now hold right heel lifts to meet the left. We have a combo, squeeze those knees in, open. Now lower those hips, hover at the bottom and up. We draw it in, open, lower and lift, in, open. Try to stay up on those tippy toes. Control that motion. We have one more. Down, up, now pulse. 10, nine, eight, squeeze, actively squeeze those glutes for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it for a second, hold, hold, hold. Now lower those heels with control. We float that right leg up, stabilize through that left. We're gonna sweep it down to meet the knee. We go down. Pause, draw it up. Again, swipe it down, draw it up. Two more, just like that. Making sure that hip's not rocking and rolling. One more, now we're gonna hold it at the top. Hold, 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 and pulse. We go up, up for eight, seven, six. Keep squeezing for four, three, two, 
One, hold it for a second. Now with control, we lower that right leg, ground through the right heel this time. Draw that left leg up. Same thing, swipe it down. Squeeze it up. Making sure our hips aren't rocking and rolling. Staying nice and square. Two more. Don't rush it. Slow and controlled. Last one, swipe it down. Squeeze it up. Pause, add that pulse up, up. Keep drawing that core in. You have five, four, three, two, one. With control, we lower that leg. Now you're going to toe heel your feet together. Squeeze those thighs in. We lower the hips down and up, down and up. Your range of motion won't feel as deep as in your normal bridge stance, totally normal. You wanna really think about squeezing those thighs together, hover the glutes and lift. Three more, down and up, down and up. Last one, hold it at the top, add that pulse for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, almost there. Three, two, one, last little bit. Toe heel, those feet out wide. Toes slightly at an angle, we squeeze the knees in. Open, in, open, last little bit. Open, in, open, now squeeze those knees together, hold. This is it, pulse up, up for five. Four, three, two, and one. Open those knees, roll down. Hug those knees into your chest. Now send that left leg long, hold onto that right. Couple little hip rolls. We're just gonna stretch out these hips before we move into our postures. Hug that knee in, swap it over. Squeeze the left, couple little hip circles. Now reverse directions. And then we're gonna squeeze both knees in towards the chest. We're gonna rock up to a seated position. You're gonna bring your feet out wide into a frog. Hands in prayer. Now use your elbows to press those knees out wide. Sink as low as you can. And then you're gonna place your hands in front of you and we're gonna come into a forward fold. Don't feel need to lock out your legs or straighten, just nice and gentle. Moving up and down. One more, up, down. This time we're gonna hold at the top, soft bend, toe heel those feet together. Send that right leg back, bring that knee down. You have a 90-90 lunge. Think of pressing that right hip flexor forward. Give a nice little opening stretch here. And then hands come down, straighten that back leg. Tap that knee down and up, down and up. One more, down, hold. And then that left leg comes back. We swap it over, right leg forward, find that 90-90 lunge. Think about pressing that hip flexor forward. And then hands fold down, straighten that leg, tap and straighten, tap. One more. Holding here for just a moment. And then we're going to send that right leg back. Find your knees. Nice little stretch. And we're gonna spin around, find our tailbones. We're gonna get ready to come into our first set of Pilates postures. So find your back, fingertips to temple. Pilates crunch, we bring it up and down. Bring it up and down, slow and controlled. Nothing fancy, just lifting the upper body off the mat. We have our hundreds coming next. We're gonna hold that upper body up in four, three, two, and one. Hold this upper body up, extend those fingertips, pulse it out, up, down, up, down. Draw that belly button down. Your advancement is to float your legs up into tabletop and keep thinking about drawing that upper body up to meet your knees. Keep breathing. Up, down, up, down. 
holding here. Those feet can come down at any time if those hip flexors are taking over. You have five more seconds. All right, this is the tricky bit. We're gonna stay lifted. Double leg extension next in three, two, one. If you can, hug those knees in. You're gonna send them out, keeping that upper body right where it's at. If this is too much for you, you have a couple options. You can come into that single leg swap, extending, alternating, or you can always bring that chest down and just work the legs. Otherwise, stay lifted, stay strong. That upper body gets a rest in five. We have a reverse crunch coming up in three, two, hold on strong, one. Upper body rests down, extend those legs, small movement. Think about tucking that tailbone, little lift and lower. Draw that core down. Try to not use momentum here. Modification, you can always bend those knees. Think about drawing your knees in and lifting that tailbone. Otherwise, legs straight. We go through these postures one more time. Back into that crunch in three, two, and one. Those feet come down, back to hip distance, fingertips to temple, up and down. Slow and controlled. Nice little space between your chin and your chest. Try to not yank on your back of your head or your neck. We lift it up and down. Make sure those elbows aren't closing in front of you. Keep them nice and wide. You know what's next. We have those hundreds coming up. We have five, four, three, two, one. Stay lifted, extend those arms. Pulse, pulse. You know your options. You can leave your feet down, otherwise float them into tabletop. Make sure you're not just flapping at the wrist. It's from the whole arm we pulse. Keep breathing, don't hold on to that breath. Make sure those knees are staying over your hips. They're not creeping in. You have just a few more seconds. Double leg extension next. Choose your modification. We switch in three, two, one. Try to stay lifted. Light touch on the knees. Extend it out. Draw it in and extend. That single leg extension is your option to modify. Otherwise, that upper body can come down and you can just work these legs. You're almost there. This is the last time you're in this posture. Try to push yourself. We have five. Reverse crunch in three, two, and one. Upper body rest. Legs extend. Little motion. Draw it up and down. Try to not rely on your arms. Make sure your legs aren't shooting overhead. We wanna just draw it nice, little motion, and down, lifting up and down. This is the last time you only have a few more seconds. We're coming onto a left forearm plank in three, in two, and one. Bring those legs down, roll onto your left side, forearm. Extend and reach. We're long, we're strong. Drop through that side body. Make sure that hip's not rocking open. If you wanna challenge yourself, add a little hip lift. Drawing it up and down. Keep breathing. Make sure you're pushing out of that shoulder socket. We're coming into a supported side clam in three. Two, and one. Lower that hip, heels behind your glutes. We draw it up and down. Try to make sure you're not sinking into your rib cage. You're pulling up. It's just this top leg moving. Hand on your hip for some feedback to make sure we're not opening up. Holding strong, up and down. We're gonna stay lifted. If this is too much, you can always come flat and do the same exercise lying down. Challenge yourself if you can, stay up. Now we're gonna hold it at the top. 
going to extend your leg, bring it back, and close. Lift, extend, return, and close. Again, making sure we're staying lifted through that side. We haven't sunk into our shoulders. Stay lifting up. We're here for one more exercise after this. We're gonna hold that leg out in five, four, three, two, one. Hold it out, flex the foot. You can lower this bottom leg. We're gonna pulse. It's a little out to the front. Really flex that foot. You should feel this down the back line of your leg, in your glutes. Staying lifted, keep breathing. Little micro movement, pulsing up. Whew. My backside is definitely getting warm. Hopefully yours is too by now. We have five more seconds, then we're gonna roll around into a high plank in three. Keep pulsing, don't quit too soon. In two and one. Hands under shoulders, we find that high plank. We're gonna lift that right leg up and then to the left, alternating leg lifts. Don't worry about height, it's just squeezing the glutes. Really push through those arms, soft bend in the elbows. Neck is nice and long, make sure you haven't dropped your head. Long and strong. We find our bellies after this. We have another five, three, two, and one. With control, we lower down. Now extend your arms out to a Y. You're going to lift your body up, draw it to a T, bring it back to a Y, and lower. Upper body lifts, make a T, come back to a Y, lower down. Make sure that neck stays nice and long. Eye gaze down towards the top of your mat. Belly button still drawing in. Hold on strong here, slow and controlled. Not lifting so high that we're dumping into our lower back. Now we're gonna hold it at the top, bring it to the side and pulse. You're in a T shape, drawing the scapula back and just returning to that neutral position. Make sure that neck is still long, pulsing up. If this is too much, you can always bring that forehead down to your mat and keep pulsing. Slow and controlled. Make sure your wrists aren't doing anything funky. Arms are nice and long. We have three, two, one. Now fold those hands in to meet your forehead. We lower down back extension. Lift it up, lower down. This is the last one in the upper body. Then we give it a rest. Slow and controlled, neck still long. Core still drawing up and in, even though we're on our bellies. We have five. We have a forearm plank coming next. In three, two, and one. Arms underneath of us. We push up to a forearm plank. Now bend the knee and straighten, alternating left to right. Nothing else moves, hips stay square. We're just doing like a little steer master motion with our legs. A little quick tap down, core drawing in, making sure we haven't sunk into the shoulders, pushing up, slow and controlled. Try to unclasp your hands if you're gripping each other. You have three, two, we come back to our bellies, and one, lower down, forehead rests on hands. We lift both of our legs up, now we're gonna open a mat distance and squeeze them together. Open and close. Kind of like a little jumping jack with your legs. Making sure we're still breathing. Again, that core is still active. We're drawing it up. Making sure you're squeezing your glutes. We have three more seconds. You're gonna hold them high. Squeeze them together, two, one. Now swim them out. <laughs> Little swimmer legs, pitter patter, pitter patter. Alternating right to left, like you're in a little imaginary pool. Active through the whole leg, try to not just be bending at the knees. We're swimming it out. 
Long and strong for another five. Hold on, go, go, go. For three, for two, for one. Now we're gonna put these motions together. Our upper body and our legs lift up and we lower down. Everything together. We draw it up and down. Make sure that neck is still nice and long. It's not about how high you go. It's full body engagement. Lowering with control. Try to make sure you're not just flopping down onto your mat. It's the only time we're here. We're gonna hold it at the top in five. Three, two, one. Hold it at the top. Bring your hands behind your back and stretch your chest open, Superman, Superwoman. We're holding long and strong. Eye gaze down towards the top of your mat. Point through those toes. Back body should be on. Try to make sure those hands aren't resting on your glutes. Really pull them up and away. Core still drawing in. You have five. We're gonna come onto that right side line next in three, two, and one. Roll onto your right forearm plank. I'm gonna flip around for you guys. We draw it up. Make sure that hip hasn't rocked back. You can put your hand here to see where you're at. Option, add those hip dips. Pushing out and away from the mat. Spike those fingers like someone's pulling you up towards the sky. A little lift and lower. We have that clam coming up in three, in two, and one. Try to stay lifted. Bend the knees, heels in line with those glutes. Float it up and down. Up and down. Make sure we're not sinking. Stay nice and lifted. Where's that hip at? Has it rocked open? Keep that hand there for feedback. Slow and controlled. Five more seconds, then we're gonna extend and bend. Same combo. In three, in two. Hold it at the top on that next one. Hold, hold, hold. Now extend, bend to meet those feet. Lower, repeat, open, extend. Remember, if this is starting to really creep up on your shoulders or your side body, you can lay nice and long. We have one more here. Then we say bye to these sideline postures for good. Push yourself where you can. Open, extend. Make sure you're not sinking into that shoulder. I have to remind myself too. Keep going. We hold it out in three, two, one. You can lower that bottom leg, flex the foot, pulse. Slow and controlled. Where are those ribs? Have they flared? Tuck them in. Stay lifted. Make sure that rib hasn't sunk. Pulsing. I know so much to think about for such a small movement. It's the beauty of Pilates. Pulse, pulse. This is it. We're gonna come into a second set of Pilates postures, starting with a steel kick next. We find our backs in five, four, three, don't give up yet, two, and one. Find your back, split the legs, gentle touch on the left, and then we swap it over. Try to keep that upper body lifted like it's coming up to meet your legs versus drawing your legs down. It's not about the flexibility. If your legs are bent, totally normal, totally fine. I want you to focus on not gripping these legs. It's a gentle touch, avoid yanking on the knee. We have our flutter kicks coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Those hands come underneath our tailbone for support. Now slow and controlled. Lower those legs down, keep that upper body lifted. Flutter those legs, just like our swimmers. Now we're doing it to the front. Kick, kick, kick. Draw that core down. Your modification, bring your legs up 90 degrees, lower that upper body. Otherwise, stay lifted, bring them to the bottom and pitter-patter it out. We have our roll-ups coming next, keep fluttering. We have three, we have two, and one. Bring those hands out from underneath your tailbone. Slow and controlled, we tuck, peel, and lift. Bit by bit, off the mat, sitting up, 
Shoulders stay down. Don't let them creep up. Tuck from the tailbone. One vertebra at a time. As slow as you can go. You might only get a couple in. Perfectly fine. The slower you go, the harder it is. We repeat these postures. We find those seal kicks in three, two, one. See if you can stay lifted, split the legs and swap it over. Again, a modification here. You can rest that upper body down. Otherwise, keep it lifted. Make sure you're not grabbing that knee. Light touch above or below. Core still drawing down. Nice space between the chin and the chest. Breath is flowing. Flutters coming up in five, four, three, two, and one. Hands beneath the tailbone. You have your options. Choose what suits you best. Now we swim it out, pitter patter. Make sure you don't hold on to your breath. We don't abrace through that core. We want the breath to keep flowing. Right, left, right, left. Swim it out. We have those roll up snap. Keep going, keep going. Try to keep energy going through the whole length of that leg for three, for two, and one. Release those hands. We curl it up, starting with the back of the head, the neck, upper back, middle back, lower back. Sit it up. Modification, you can always bend your legs, get out of those hip flexors if they're taking over, and you can articulate down this way. Again, choose what option suits your body in this present moment. Slow and controlled. We have these postures one more time, guys. But that's it, then we're done with the core. All right, seal kicks in three, two, one, split the legs. Last time here, make it your best round. We've been here before. You know what to look for. Scan your body. Is your core down? Are you bracing tension in your jaw or your neck? Release that tension. Is your upper body staying lifted? Remember, upper body meets the legs. You've got your last set of flutters in three. Two, and one, hands underneath the tailbone. Choose your option, either keep them up or lower them down. Pitter patter, pitter patter. Strong energy through the legs. Make sure they're not flopping. Again, make sure you're not arching through your back. That core is down. If you find yourself arching, bring them back up. Otherwise, hold on for 10 seconds. You have a roll up coming next for the last time in five, Four, three, two, and one. Release the hands. Let's see how slow we can go. Bit by bit. Curl it up. Ooh, are you guys feeling it? I'm feeling it. Ooh. Sit it up. Start with the base. Make sure those shoulders aren't helping. Keep them down. Belly button to the back of your spine. Can you get one more in? We have 10 seconds. Slow and controlled. Go, 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 go. We have an option for a quick drink break in three, in two, and one. Awesome, grab a quick sip of water. Otherwise, we're gonna meet in four point kneeling. Whew. And we're gonna do a bit of a floor series targeting our arms, our legs, and our obliques. So hands under shoulders. We're gonna extend the left arm forward, right leg back. Float them up and tap them down. Float it up and down. Again, make sure your hips are staying square. Neck is long. Doesn't matter about height. We're just engaging through this whole back line of the body. We're gonna hold this up in five, three, two, and one. Hold it up. Now leave that leg still. Scap retractor on the left. Draw that core in. 
Make sure those ribs haven't flared. Everything's in. Soft bend in that right elbow. Your whole body should be feeling this, especially that right stabilizing arm. We've got one more in this position. We're gonna pulse that arm and that leg in five, three, two, one. Hold it long. We pulse it up and down. Little pulse. Woo! My right arm is on fire, guys. So is that glute. You can press it with shakes. Woo -hoo. Hang on. We get some relief. We come into our side and focus on those obliques next. We have 10. You're gonna find a right forearm plank in five, three, two, and one. Right forearm plank. Now we're gonna thread the needle. You're gonna tuck this under and draw it up. Slow rotation. And draw it up. Really nice. Keep going slow and controlled. We're gonna find a jackknife in five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna lay it down. Use that form for support to help you get yourself up. You're gonna crunch it in and extend. Really thinking of those obliques drawing you in, that right forearm stabilizing you. To advance, you can do a straight arm, straight leg option. Draw it up, and with control, we lower down. Squeeze it up, and down. Keep breathing. And we're gonna lay nice and long in three, two, and one. Lay it down. You're gonna lift both legs up and lower. You can prop your arm up. You can put your left hand in front for support. Think of those obliques, those thighs, everything squeezing together to lift those legs up. Straight long line. Up and down. Really nice, guys. We're gonna flip back forward in three. Find a down dog in two and one. Flip forward, find your downward dog. Extend that left leg up. Now draw left knee to left elbow. Again, focusing on that oblique. We bring it forward and tap. Slow and controlled. Just on that left side, you have five. Then we come back into that four point kneel in three, two, and one. Find that four point position this time. Right arm forward, left leg back. You know what to do. We draw it up and down. Again, draw it up and down. Make sure that hip's not rotating open. Both hip bones shining down towards your mat. Strong energy through that leg. Neck is long. Soft bend in the elbow. We're gonna hold it at the top in three in two and one hold stay lifted scap retractor comes back and forward slow and controlled movement that left leg try to keep it at hip height squeeze that glute keep that right arm moving keep pushing that mat away through your left so many things to think about i know full body work here we're gonna hold it long and pulse it out in three, two, one. Hold it long. We pulse up and down, up. Slow little movements. Make sure you're not rocking and rolling through that torso. Again, belly drawing up, neck is long. Keep breathing. We've got that left forearm plank coming up next. In another, 
six, hold on strong for four. Last two, don't give up. And one. Find your left forearm plank. We have that thread the needle. We draw it up, stabilize, make sure that hip's shining up. And then we thread that right arm under. Rotate through that center body and return. Rotate, think of those obliques twisting, doing the work. Forearm is parallel to the top of your mat. We have another three, two, and one. We come down, we have that jackknife. Two options, bent legs to a bent elbow. Use that form to help assist you up and lower down with control. Otherwise, you have that advancement. You have the straight arm, straight legs. Come up like a V, tap, low or slow and controlled. Try to not touch at the bottom. Draw it up and lower down. We get to come down into that sideline leg lift next. In three. Last two. And one. Can bring that right arm forward to help stabilize. Draw the legs up and down. You can also lay nice and flat, squeezing and lifting. Bring those legs slightly forward from your hips to help you stabilize. Long and strong. All right, we have that three-legged dog oblique combo coming up in five. Hold on for three. Four, two, and one. All right, find that downward dog. This time, right leg extends. We tap it to that right elbow. Extend, right knee, right elbow. Keep breathing. And back. Think about those obliques crunching in. We're gonna find our backs in three, in two, and one. Roll it around. All right, finishing off these obliques, we have a bicycle, knees over hips, elbow to knee, back to center. Opposite elbow to knee, back to center. Switching from side to side, trying to keep that upper body lifted the whole time. All right, keep on going, guys. We have five more seconds in this move. Then we're gonna rock up. We find a high plank. In three, in two. Hug those knees, rock it up. Find that high plank. We're gonna alternate this time. Knee, elbow, knee, elbow. Similar to that three leg combo we warmed up. This time we have a plank with these alternating Knee to elbows, focusing on those obliques, helping us draw it in side to side. We've just got a few more seconds. Then we're gonna inchworm our way back to a chair. In three, in two, and one. We walk it back, find our chair. Inchworm forward, find your plank. Stay low and walk it forward. All right, we're gonna scoop up our weights after this and start focusing on those arms. We have another five. Keep moving. Three. Bring it back. Let's fit in one more. And one. All right, find those weights. Soft bend in the knees, focusing on our triceps. We're gonna tap those weights forward and back. Soft bend, body's nice and tall, shoulders down. Don't let momentum do the work. We're just tapping them behind, tapping them forward. Like a little around the world motion. You're just circling yourself, arms are straight. You're gonna bring those weights behind you in three, in two, and one. Hinge slightly forward, now tap just behind you. Draw that belly in. 
I gaze down towards the top of your mat, just tapping open. Keep those wrists straight. Tap behind and separate. All right, we're gonna hold them back. Those triceps should be on. We're gonna pulse it out in five, four, three, two, one. Lean forward, hold, pulse. Little lift, lower, lift, lower. Again, straight arms, straight wrist. Eye gaze down, neck is long. Try to make sure you're keeping that tension. You're not letting them swing forward. You're holding them up, return, up, return. All right, we let them come forward in five, three, and one. Bring them forward, bring them straight up, palms facing. We open them up, straight chest fly, and back. This works the shoulders, the chest, and the triceps. Soft bend in the elbows. We're gonna lose one weight after this and come into those legs. Keep your arms at shoulder height, slow and controlled. You have five more seconds. Keep the same tempo. You lose a weight in three, in two, and one. One weight down. We've got that right lunge coming back. We're gonna step back. Front extension, weight overhead. Draw it in. Lunge it back. Extend. Whoo, hello balance. <laughs> also, we're probably waking up our stabilizers. Myself included. All right. Take a minute to ground yourself. Slow and controlled. We're gonna hold it at the bottom in three, in two, and one. Find that lunge, hold. We're gonna twist. All right, oblique twist. We're coming over to the left, back to center. Over to the left, back to center. Making sure we're twisting through that entire torso. That back leg pulses. We hinge it forward in five, three, two, and one. Hinge that weight forward, find your balance, flex your foot. We pulse. Nothing else is moving. Soft bend in that leg. I lost my balance when I looked at you guys. Hey. <laughs> All right. Keep breathing. Flexing hard through that foot. We're gonna come into a scooter in five, four, three, two, and one. Our arms are gonna extend out, and then we draw the leg and arm in. We go out and in. Now your modification is to tap your leg down and bring it up, down, and up. Your advancement is to leave it hovered the whole time Drawing it in and out. We come into those arms again. We're gonna scoop up that other weight in another five, four, three, two, and one. Find that other dumbbell. This time, we're gonna bring those arms up to a frontal raise. Hold. Right arm lowers and meets. Left arm lowers. And we meet it up. Alternating side to side. Slow and controlled. If this is too much, you can always bring them down and alternate side to side this way. Otherwise, leave them up. We're coming into a scissor in three, in two, one. You're gonna scissor them over, under, over, under, then back up for four, three, two, one, down, four, three, two, one. Keep this tempo, just coming up to shoulder height. Try to not relax at the bottom. This is why we're using lighter weights. You just have five more seconds, keep going. 
We're gonna come into a side lateral lift in three and two and one. Weights to side. We draw them up and down. Lifting up and lowering down. Just so you guys can see me a little bit better. Soft bend in those elbows, just to shoulder height. We've got a combo to finish these arms off next. But hold on, we have another five. Slow, maybe pause at the top and back down. We're gonna hold them up in two and one. Now flip the palms to face out, we pulse back. Two, three, bring it forward, flip the wrist down, tap. Two, three, open up, flip the wrist, pulse back, two, Three, close forward, palms face down, tap. Two, three, open, palms face out, pulse it back. Woo! And we close, flip it down, tap. Two, three, one more, open up, flip. And then we lose one weight, lower it down. Drop one weight, this time, left leg coming back. Lunging with that front kick, we come down. Stabilize and extend. Lunge it down, stabilize, extend. Whoop, wobbles and shakes, guys. Embrace them. We're gonna hold at the bottom next for that oblique twist. In three, two, one, 90, 90. Hold it down, rotate to the right back to center. Small twist to the right, back to center. Try to stay as low as you can. We have that back leg pulse coming up next. We're gonna hinge it forward in another five, three, two, and one. Hinge that weight forward. Float that left leg back, soften in the knee, flex the foot, pulse, pulse. Nothing else is moving. We're squeezing that glute. Eye gaze long, neck long. Ooh, my glutes are on, guys. Oh, sorry. I obviously can't look at you guys and pulse at the same time. I trust you're not cheating. All right, we have a scooter in three, two, one. That arm extends. We draw it in and out, in and out. We're gonna ditch the weights after this. Remember, you can tap it down or you can keep it lifted. Choose your option. Keep breathing. Woo, that glute should be on. We have five, four, I'm wobbling, three, two, and one. Place that weight down. All right, body weight time. We're gonna come out to a high plank, hold. We're gonna rotate open, and then back to center. Rotate now, other side. Opening up, back to center. Slow and controlled. We're reaching that home stretch, guys. We're gonna hold that high plank forward in three, in two, and one. Commandos, down onto the forearm, and up. Alternating side to side. And up. It's your only time here. Try to not rock and roll through those hips. You can split those feet off wider to help stabilize you. Woo. All right. We've got walkout push-ups coming next. All right. Hold on strong. Tricep push-up. Walk it back, stand it up. 
find that tricep push up. And stand. Now those knees are always an option. You can lower down and then tuck the toes and walk it back. You have five, four, three, two, one. Now find a down dog. All right, roll to your plank. Now squat and bring it forward. Squat and forward. You have another five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're gonna walk it back, find your squat. Squat it down, kick it back on the right. Squat it down, kick it back. Alternating side to side. We have a couple more in the legs. All right, guys, almost there. All right, we're gonna hold it down and we're gonna pulse it out. Last little bit. We have five. We have four, three, two, and one. Sink it down as low as you can go. Hold, hold, hold. We're gonna pulse it down and up, down. Those legs should be on. This is the last little bit. See if you can go any lower. Hold, hold, hold. A little up and down for five, for four, for three, two, oh, one. Stand it up, fold it down. And then let's walk it out. Find that plank, drop your knees. Find that child's pose. Oh. All right, let's come up to that four point kneel. We're gonna take a cat cow, we breathe in, belly drops, exhale, and then bring that belly button up towards your spine. A couple more in your own time. Last one. And arch. And then we're gonna sneak those legs through and slowly roll it down and find your back. Let's cross that right ankle over the left knee. Figure four stretch. Often shoot those hands through that keyhole. Draw it in a little closer. You can extend that left leg. Get a little bonus hamstring stretch. Maybe a point flex. And then we're gonna lower that shape. Straighten that left leg. Let's take that right leg over to the left. Supine stretch. And then just swap it over. Extend that right leg. Left ankle meets the right knee. Same option to reach that keyhole, draw that shape in. Try to make sure that left knee is pushing away. Hips are grounded on the mat. And then we send that right leg long, hug that left knee in. Supine twist, I gaze to the left. And back to center, hug both knees one last time. Maybe a little rock side to side. And then legs are long and heavy. Arms rest heavy by your side. Gently close down your eyes. And let's take a few deep closing breaths. We inhale, we fill up. Open mouth, sigh it out. Again, we inhale. Belly ribs expand. Open mouth, exhale. One final time, your biggest, deepest breath of the day. Inhale. And open mouth, melt. Taking a moment to thank yourself for the 55 minutes you just gave, bringing yourself to the forefront of 
your priority list and working from top to toe. Beautiful practice, beautiful gift. I'm going to slowly open my eyes and bring myself up to seated. And thank you for joining me on the mat. I hope you had a great sweat just like me. I am feeling it from top to toe, and I look forward to seeing you on the mat next time. Take care.